Hey guys, what's going on? I'm uh, going to take a quick look here at Cosmos. Ticket for this is Adam and currently on a weekly time frame. As you can see, the price is pumping right now. Um, I covered this coin about two or three weeks ago. And in that video, I mentioned that these are the uh, key levels to mark on your chart. Uh, just in case you didn't watch that, I'll just go over it briefly right now. So we had this downsloping level of resistance that we recently broke out of. Uh, we also had these two upsloping levels of support. One was drawn from the uh, candle bodies and one was drawn from the wicks. So this one right here, uh, drawn from the wicks, this was a very relevant trend line for a long time, for several years, dating all the way back to April of 2020. So you see it was resistance right here, resistance right here. When we broke above it, we came back to retest it. Look at this wick right off of it. Okay, and the next time the price interacted with that level was right here in uh, June of 2022 where we had a pretty dramatic sell-off here, but by the time this candle closed, again on a weekly time frame, the candle body closed above the uh, upsloping level of support that I mentioned I drew from the bodies, but the wick came right down to this trend line. Okay, zooming out, we have another uh, interaction with this trend line right here, another wick, and then another candle body close above here. And most recently, again, a candle body closing above this trend line. However, the wick came within like three cents of this upsloping level of support. So this was a very relevant level for several years. Now the second upsloping level of support, again, uh, was resistance right here. Support all throughout here for several months. It held a support right here as well, right here, and then most recently right here. So when we broke and closed the candle body above this upsloping level of support, that was a huge indicator that we're likely to see more upside. Then we confirmed the break this following week and this candle, this week was a fight, right? You see, we had this long wick all the way up here to about $10.50 and then a long wick all the way down here to $8.50. But the candle body closed above this support line uh, Sunday evening. Following week, again, a huge jump all the way down to this second trend line. But the bulls obviously won this battle as well and the candle body closed above the support line. Next week, pretty much the same story. And last week, we had a huge move to the upside and not only did we stay above this support line once again but we broke another resistance line right so this range right here was a resistance here and then it was support all throughout here this candle body closing above uh, about ten dollars and 41 cents again just a huge sign to the market and now we're heading up now this candle right now that we're currently printing very interesting we had that flash crash on Bitcoin that brought uh, most of the market down with it. And look where Cosmos got support, right at the support line. We wicked to it exactly. A lot of buying pressure came in here and now we are heading up. So the question now is where would potential sellers come in? Now there are a few things I would typically do to identify the key levels. Um, first, and I prioritize this, is just look left and check for previous levels of resistance. So that would be obviously right here. So if you're trading Cosmos, I would recommend that you draw a horizontal ray or horizontal trend line right at the top of these candle bodies right here. We have several uh, interactions at this level where it served as a uh, resistance. So right here, obviously, where I just suggested that you uh, draw your trend line. We came up to it again, got rejected hard. Once again here, another attempt to, uh, to break out, followed by another rejection. And just by looking at this recent breakout, I think uh, this is where we are heading. Again, that's around $15.50. Next level beyond that, based on the price action, I would suggest that you take a horizontal ray and paste it right at the low of these candle bodies right here. So you see uh, this level was a resistance, uh, flip to a level of support, support once again. So obviously, if we're able to break above this $15.50 level and work our way up, high likelihood that a lot of selling pressure is going to come in here at around $21.94. Okay, so now that we've identified these key levels just based on the uh, price action, next thing I would typically do is take a Fibonacci retracement tool, run it from the swing high down to the swing low, this wick right here, and then I want to look for confluence. Okay, so I'm seeing something pretty interesting right now. Okay, the first level, the 3A2, we're not far off of it. That's around $12.30. So potentially, uh, some sellers are going to come in here. However, this right here is the level that I'm personally targeting. I am in a long trade. And again, that's about $15.50. So I just showed you how uh, this is a potential level of resistance based on the price action. And now we have confluence with the Fibonacci retracement. This 50% Fib uh, basically covers that line I drew perfectly. You can't even see it anymore. Okay, so 1550, very key level. I have my take profit uh, just before. I'm going to front run it a bit. And when and if the price comes up to this level, not only will I take my profits here, but I may consider entering a short position with a tight stop loss, just pending uh, some bearish candle formations and perhaps a bearish divergence if I'm able to spot one. Next level beyond that, if we break this 50, is going to be up here at the golden pocket. 
and we do have some confluence in this zone as well. So the golden pocket is between the 618 and a 65% retracement level. And this horizontal line that I just suggested that you draw is just slightly above the 65%. So right at the top of this range. So seeing as how this is a very confluent level with the price action and the fib pull, I think a lot of traders are going to be looking at this level and either looking to take profits or looking to enter a short position. Either way, I think a lot of selling pressure is going to come in. Okay, one more thing I wanted to show you about this $15.50 level. For this, I'm going to switch the chart. And right here, now if I draw a trend line from the low of this wick and run it up, connecting it with this wick right here, and then we have multiple touches on this upsloping trend line that has served as a support for a long period of time. And as you know, when you break a strong level of support, more often than not, the price will test it from underneath and it will flip to a level of resistance. But look where this lines up. So this is the $15.50 level that I just mentioned based on the top of these candle bodies right here. Actually, on this chart, I have it at around $15.60. But this is a very confluent level. But we have even more confluence at this particular level because this is where these two lines intersect, right? This upsloping level of broken support and this horizontal uh, level of resistance. And these are both going to be resistance levels. So again, around $15. 50 to let's say the top of this range around $16 a lot of resistance around this range okay I'll switch my uh, my chart back but yeah guys that's just a quick update on Cosmos hopefully you found it helpful if you did smash the like button a uh, couple things if you're not subscribed and you want to get notified when I release these videos uh, click subscribe click the bell click on all the market's starting to heat up now and I'm going to try to get these videos out as soon as I see something break on the charts or a good potential trade setup. So if you want to see it, you got to make sure that you're subscribed and you have your notifications on. Because if I see a breakout or a good uh, trade setup, I'll, I'll publish the video as quickly as I can. And if you have your alert on, you're going to be one of the first people to see it and maybe you can uh, capitalize off of it. But of course, none of this is financial advice. Also, if you're looking for a place to trade uh, Cosmos, Atom, and pretty much any of the other coins I talk about on this channel, I put a link to three different exchanges in both the pinned comment and the description. All three of those exchanges are offering you guys sign-up bonuses. Um, for two of them, they require KYC, but the one that does not require KYC, as of right now, it's called Bing X and it's linked at the top. So if you don't want to submit any personal information, then that's probably the one you should check out. They're also offering you guys a sign-up bonus and they have a really nice trading interface. I just recently started playing around with it and I think it's, uh, it's pretty smooth, nice to use. All right, guys, that about wraps it up for now. Take care, have a good day. Bye.